This is volume two of biggest beginner archery mistakes we see too often. And because after releasing my first video on this topic, there were so many comments and so many interesting things to discuss, I decided to continue. So I asked more of my archery friends what they think about the most common archery mistakes they see, they know when they teach other people. And we will go through them this time. We will again have three tips plus bonus one from me. And I'm so much looking forward to do this one. So let's go. The first tip of today is from Tackle Brothers. And if I ask them, what do you think is the most common beginner archery mistake? They said, it's definitely the elbow. That they see that the elbow of archers at the beginning is too low. So it's on the level of their ribs. So it looks like this. Yeah, I didn't even hit the target how wrong it was. How do we do it correctly? Well, we need to have the elbow as an extension of the arrow. So it's one long line like this. Don't do this mistake. Don't do that, that you have the elbow so low because then you are pulling the string only with your arm and you don't have the strength. You don't use your back tension as we discussed in the first video. You want to do it with your shoulder, pull it back and be in one line with the arrow like this. So this was a tip from Tuckal Brothers. Thank you very much for your input and we can continue. Next tip comes from Max Archery, my great friend from America, one of the fastest archers in the world. He has amazing channel full of so much of great and in-depth information and experiments. And I was expecting that his tip will be something inspirational, some secret technique. And you wouldn't believe what he said, use proper clothes. I was like, what do you mean? And he said, when I teach people, they are able to emerge in clothes like some saggy, baggy, big shirts, big sweatshirts, jumpers, or something like this. The clothing, when you do archery, should be subtle, should be on your body, should be sleek, and it will not be in your way when you want to shoot bow and arrow, because beautiful shot because and it's fact that when you have something baggy and saggy huge so when you shoot it really is in the way of the arrow and it can stop the string or it can you know whatever can happen maybe you see that there are many things you want to improve it yourself but you don't know how well, we can solve this together. We can have an online video one-on-one -on -one class where we can go through your archery and we can improve so many things in shortest amount of time possible. So jump down in the description. There's a link with more information and I'm looking forward to teach you how to shoot. Another tip is from my great friend. I have this bow from him. His tip is great one, very important one. And it is be patient. One of the biggest mistakes that archers as a beginners do is that they are impatient. They shoot six arrows and they expect to be amazing, the best archers in the planet. Like I will hit the bullseye in every condition, you know, I can shoot behind my head and hit everything. Why not? Yes, I give it a five minutes and I'm the best. It's not working like that. I shot tens of thousands of arrows, maybe more than 100,000 arrows in my life. And still there are so many things I need to learn, I need to improve. Not after five, not after 50, not after 500, maybe not even after 5,000 arrows, you will be amazing. But if you will give a goal to your every archery session and you will practice one specific thing and you will see yourself improving then you will continue with archery because you will feel that it goes somewhere. Be patient, give it a time. Archery is martial art. Archery is art, it's a meditation. It's more than just throwing arrows at a target. It's something spiritual, something with deep meaning. Approach to it like this. It will help you to be in a flow with your bow, arrows, with the target, with everything, with yourself. That's the thing. Thank you very much for that tip. And here comes the bonus tip from me. And that is a very technical thing. When you want to shoot as the beginner, what I see most often is that the archer draws quickly and now he starts to aim, but to hold the bow ready, it's pretty hard and demanding. The strength of your right hand is decreasing. And what you do is 
that you are losing the power and then you release. It's ineffective, it's inaccurate. You need to reverse it. The process is like this. You are drawing slowly, slowly, slowly and you release. You never need to do the thing that you are. Like this, at the maximum draw and you are aiming, waiting and uh, your power is decreasing. Uh, uh, put the arrow on a string and draw, 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 release. Release when you are still drawing, when you are still pulling the string back, because then you will have the most power and energy stored in the arrow. It will be fast, accurate, and you will enjoy it because the results will be amazing. The whole process, it's communicating with you. It's in alignment with your body, with your mind that is working for you very well. You see, it's very simple. Draw, 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 release. Amazing bullseye. It's all in the movement. It's like breathing, yeah? So that's my tip. I see this pretty often with beginners and it's pity. We can change this together. Again, I'm looking forward to see your comments, your tips, your ideas, because I feel that there will be level volume episode three of this because there are many things we can discuss we can see what's wrong and how we can easily improve it with the simple hacks and of course i will ask more of my archery friends to help me with this for next time you know what until then keep on running bye